Okay, so as promised, I told you I was going to get on here and show you a sneak peek of this makeup, okay? So we don't need to go through the introductions now. You remember who I am and you remember why I'm here. So let me show you. When I talk about this makeup, I'm going to be referring to it as a 3D makeup because that's really what it is. Because the concept behind this makeup is really minimizing what we don't love, but bringing forward the things we do love, highlighting the best parts of our faces and kind of contouring away things we don't love. That's really how simple it is. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Ladies, my whole face is in this. Yep, true story. First of all, can we just give a moment for how beautiful the compacts are? Um, I mean, hello. Let me just show you. I, I just, I still, I never get tired of looking. Can we, with this gold marble? Hello. You will never, ever hide this makeup in a drawer. <laughs> Look how beautiful and cool they are. Okay, so let me get refocused. So my whole face is in this compact, okay? I'm going to show you. These are the colors from my face. These are the colors that work for my face. This is a customized palette of makeup. So this is a double layer one. Some, some, some of them are not all, all are not double layered, but this is a double layer one. So I've got my, my skin stuff there and I've got eyeshadows here. How cool is that? All purchased separately. You don't have to buy a pre-made palette that has colors that don't work for you. Everything here works for me. Now I've got a few colors here. You probably noticed that. Here's why. Because it really is asking a lot of one bottle of found. Can we go back to this? One bottle of foundation to do everything it needs to do for our skin. How I approach makeup, and it really has been since I've done the, this customized kind of palette for me, is I put different colors where they go. I know that sounds hard. It's not. And I'm going to explain why. All this makeup acts as foundation. So in the past, you would say, oh, here's my foundation. And then you'd have a powder blush and maybe a powder bronzer. You know what I mean? You have different components that are made up of different textures, right? You mix some powders with some creams and maybe some liquids. This is all the same consistency. So do you know what that does for your skin? First of all, it all blends together harmoniously. You don't ever have a swipe of powder sitting on a cream foundation or a, or a liquid foundation. It's all the same cream. So the colors just melt into one another. It also melts into your skin because honestly, once you put this cream on your skin, it gets warmed up by the temperature of your face and it actually looks better as the day goes on. True story. I had a girl text me six hours after she first got her makeup and put it on. She said, how does my makeup look better six hours later? <laughs> it's true. There's something about the body temperature that warms this cream makeup up and just makes it just melt into our skin and it looks so natural and so beautiful and not like we're wearing makeup at all. Okay, so that's one thing. It's all the same cream. Now, this is not meant to be layered. We are not about layering makeup here. We are about creating one layer on our face. That will keep it looking natural and not cakey. I mean, don't get us wrong. We love cake. But who wants cakey makeup? Cakey makeup causes all kinds of problems. Number one, if you have any texture on your skin from maybe um, scars or acne or anything that just, you know, we don't have a perfectly smooth skin. Who does? But if we have any texture, what happens is the more we put on, the more product we put on, the more that texture shows. Okay. Also, if we have fine lines and wrinkles, the more makeup we put on, the more it's going to collect and settle into those fine lines and wrinkles. So when you can put the sheerest, most minimal layer of makeup on your face, none of those things happen. So let me explain a little bit without doing it what I do. So I've got a dark and a light color here that I kind of bounce back and forth between. So in the winter, I am mostly, let me get myself lined up here. It's this one, candlelit. That's my color really that I am in the winter time. When I get a little more sun, I can move a little more into sandy. Right now I use both because right across the bridge of my nose, I'm a little dark. Maybe you are. Are you kind of red across the bridge of your nose? Likely you are. It's where we, it's where the sun hits us. So I put my darker color just kind of right along there. Same brush. I'm going to dip into my lighter color and kind of put it at other places. Okay. 
that yellow color I put right under my eyes because I have a little purple under my eyes. It's a little bit of a purple undertone to my under eye darkness. Yellow counters purple, so it gets rid of that. And then if I ever want a pop of brightness, I take that color called linen and I may just pop it right there. I don't do it every day, but it's in my compact if I want to do it. Also that color linen, I sometimes will run right along my jawline because in the winter my neck will get very fair and I like it to match. There's a blush, okay? And then I've got eyeshadows here, also all purchased separately. So you never have that palette of, of eyeshadows um, that you don't wear. You know, you've got two that you love, okay? Did I say blush? I meant eyeshadow. You know what I meant. So when I say my whole face is in this compact, I'm not kidding. Except for my mascara, because we don't sell mascara, because you know why? It's already been done. And there's great mascaras out there. And Friday night, I will talk to you about the mascaras I have tried and tested and I think have found the best ones on the market. But they exist already. So there was no reason for her, um, Kara is the creator of this makeup, to make another mascara. But what she did make is something that is not on the market today. And that is a customizable palette for our skin, for our faces. Because why wouldn't we want that too? So this takes me five minutes to put on. True story, once you know your colors and you have them there and one brush, I will give you the brush or two that I think you need for your skin. I will even customize the brush because believe it or not, certain brushes put makeup on certain ways and I will know what you need. I'll ask you a couple questions and I will give you the right brush. So with these brushes, I bounce from one color to the next and I put them where they go. I don't have to clean my brushes in between. They don't hold on to the makeup. It's kind of a miracle. They're all double-ended, so when you get one brush, you actually have two. So my whole face today was done with this brush. We have other brushes for eyeshadows, always double-ended, and I will show you some of those as well. Uh, we do have a skincare that I will show you that I'm absolutely over the moon passionate about, and it's the skincare and this cream makeup that I believe, for me, has completely rewound the clock on my skin. I have better skin than I did when I was 30. It's really true. And it's because my face feels hydrated and it never feels like it's being dried out and it's balanced. My skin is balanced. Now, questions you may have are, does it work for all skin types? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have several hundred customers. They are all different. I have oily girls. I have dry girls. I have girls with acne. I have girls with rosacea. I have girls with age spots. Yes, it works for everybody. There are some things you have to tweak a little bit, um, depending on what your skin is like, but, but for the most part, it's the same for everybody. It really is. And I will tell you those little tips and tricks that you may need to know um, based on your skin, because we're going to talk about that, okay? So I'm so excited to show this to you. I, I always am anxious to get to Friday, because I think that once you see me put this makeup on, it just all clicks in your mind but hopefully you will watch every day leading up to that because I'm going to show you pictures of the products I'm going to talk about the skin I'm going to really break it down to brass tacks and we're just going to get at the root of what we all want which is affordable makeup simple good for our skin beautiful finish that's what we all want and let's put it on quick right who has time so I will be talking about all those things and why this cream 3D makeup checks all those boxes. So I hope you're excited now. I really do. Um, I do these every week because I got so many women that are so anxious to share with their friends about this. So every week I get to do this and reach out to an audience that has never maybe tried this way of putting makeup on before. It's the best thing ever. It's the best job. I have the best job ever. So I'm so excited. I hope this helps. Keep watching. There's going to be lots more to see. It's going to be a great week.